first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and salutations to the hopeful elect. So this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 6, and the New International Version says, is this the way you repay the Lord, you foolish and unwise people? Is he not your father, your creator, who made you and formed you? So, you know, in this scripture, I thought about how, you know, to repay. And I thought about uh, Esau, the so quiet man, and his system that he has in his credit system. That he has, and this credit system that that he has is all about re to repay, all right? Paying ultimately paying it back, paying back what you uh, borrowed. So it made me think in the spirit that we have to pay, we have to look and seek to pay the Lord back. Right? Because he, like it says, is he not your father, your creator who made you and formed you? So with the Lord blessing us with our lives, with it with the Yahweh Shai dying for our sins, covering our sins, whereas all our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. At one point the most high power was about to destroy all of Israel and restart with Moses so ain't nobody you know go walk around um you know thinking that that there's something thinking that this is why this is why we remain humble you won't you won't catch us on a horse making a making a WWE entrance man Making a grand entrance like you, Yahweh Shai, on a horse. You won't you won't catch us doing that because our righteousness is as filthy rags. We have nothing to boast of, man. Okay? The Lord could uh, uh, consume us at, 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 at any moment if he wanted to. It could be just, you know, that's it. His sins is piled up. That's it, man. Judgment. But because Yahweh Shai covered our sins, now the Lord sees us worthy for uh, salvation, man. And that's Luke uh, 21 and 36. Watch and pray. Watch and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So some people are going to be worthy. And that's because it all began with Yahweh Shai covering our sins, man. So, guess what? That's why it goes back and reminds me of the credit system. The credit system. Because, say you, 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 you how about you, my shy for big? Buck shy, you how about you, my shy? I don't want that smoke. Say, just using an example, say your car gets messed up, costs you $500 to fix it, and you don't have that $500. Guess what? Uh, you could use your credit card and Esau's credit will cover you. But guess what? You have to pay it back. You have to pay that back, man. And it's best to what? Pay it back immediately. So, you know, you got people out here that got good credit. They're good at paying Esau back. You know, for the front, for looking out for them. How much more should we be good at paying the Lord back for what he's done for us? And now, well, first, well, first how, do we, how do we pay the Lord back? By making our bodies a living sacrifice, man. Putting our literal lives on the line, even being ready to get put to death for the Lord if we have to. Even if, even if, even if it gets to that. And, and we pay the Lord back by doing the works. 
by growing, building in the faith. Yahweh Shai told Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Like, and, and, and with Yahweh Shai saying that, it's like Yahweh Shai saying, you know, you wanna, you wanna do, you wanna do something for me, right? He's like, yeah, yes, Lord, anything, anything. You know, you wanna work for me? You wanna do something for me? All right, look, you could do this. That's like somebody, you know, you know, you you, you want to give somebody money or something. So if somebody do something for you and you want to pay him back, yo, yeah, yeah, take this money, man. Take it, man, take it. You, and he's like, no, nah, you know, I don't need it, I don't need it. But you know what? If you want to, um, you want to pay me back, there's something that you could do. There's something that you could do to pay me back. Feed my sheep. So that goes to show that what that. Yeah, how it pleases you, how shy for us to for us to do these lessons and to teach, man. It pleases the Lord greatly. That's what that's what means a lot to the Lord, man. Even more than like the money situation. Like, you know, yeah, you know, you keep your money. You want to please me? You know, you you want to do something for me? Feed my lambs. You know, just to pay the importance of how the Lord want um, wants us to uh, uh, teach. So. Now, with all that being said, thus we begin to pay the Lord back. And then guess what happens when you pay back on time? And, that, and that's another point, aspect, man. We got to pay the Lord back on time before the doors of repentance close. You can't be looking to pay the Lord back when when he's a, when doors of repentance are already closed and he's bringing out the judgment of, upon, upon the people, man. All right, but um, so, but with us with us paying the Lord back on time, guess what? That builds good credit. That builds up good credit, man. So let me get a. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 30 Water will quench a flaming fire And alms maketh an atonement For sins So atonement is what? When we making things right With the Lord ultimately Okay so With us making things right with the Lord Paying the Lord back Paying the Lord back for his mercy Okay for for all that they For all, the, for, for all his blessings and mercy That he you know, bestows upon us, so to speak. That makes our credit right. And now, when when we need to get when we need to get out of a jam, once again, right? Say another situation happens and you need to get out of a jam, your credit is good with the Lord. You know how to pay back. You know how to make atonement. So now when when we get into a jam, which that ultimate jam is going to be what? Jacob's trouble. Let me get that. We going to be looking, we going to be looking for a loan. So to speak, a spiritual loan. And before I get that, Ecclesiastes 2 and 3, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end so we're going to be looking for an in, for an increase hey, hey an increase could, could uh go go right back into the loan too right say something costs thousand dollars only thing you got in the bank is seven hundred dollars and you need an increase of uh three hundred dollars to to pay to pay whatever off the increase could be in, in the form of a loan, so we we're gonna need that increase in that day. We're gonna need an increase of, of what more faith, more knowledge and wisdom, more power. Some of us is gonna get the the super spiritual power. I gotta call it. <laughs> yeah, the super spiritual power, because we already have the spiritual power. the The ability to go out there in the highways and byways, week in and week out, that's spiritual power. We don't do that of our own, man. That's of the Lord. And it could be taken away as we easily see. 
but then now we're gonna get the super spiritual power, man. To where we're gonna be healing. Okay. We're gonna be uh whew, man. Lord knows, man. Lord knows, man. We're gonna be able to uh, uh protect, defend, Lord Lord knows, man. So we're going to need a uh, uh, uh an, an increase in that day. And we'll be worthy of the increase if you we have that good credit with the Lord and we know how to pay back. But see, that's the and then that's the problem with our people, though. They it, it, it just brings me back to, to uh, Deuteronomy 32 and six. Is this the way you repay the Lord? They don't pay back, you know, just getting to it in this aspect. Just based off the word repay they don't they don't pay the lord back man they take out a huge loan and that's and that's what happens that's a setup for 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 a failed society you take out a huge massive loan a huge business loan and then you don't even pay it back right is that you know is that how you repay somebody who who loaned you out the scriptures speak upon how a nigger a nigger will not pay back <laughs> Right? So is that is that how you pay the Lord back? You're going to have to come back to him, man. You're going to have to come back to him eventually. Right? So now say uh, your, your car breaks down once again. And you, you're looking to take out a loan. Oh, hell no. Nah. nah. You know, you got bad credit. You don't got no atonement with the Lord. Because why these people, they are wise in their own eyes. They doing their own thing. They're not seeking to please the Lord. They're not seeking to pay back the Lord uh, for the sacrifice that he made, man. Dying, for covering our sins. Okay? Blessing us with the opportunity to make it to the kingdom of heaven with eternal life. They're not looking to pay the Lord back for that. So therefore, they, they have bad credit. So now, when, when we all get into a jam, when we all get into these rough times, right? The economy... The economy collapse, right? And you looking to get pulled out of a gym, out of a gym, is not going to be nowhere for you to get that that money, man. And you're going to have to just suffer, right? But for those that that, that have that good credit with the Lord, He's going to bail us out. So I'll end it with this: Jeremiah thirty and uh, and seven. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? And that's the whole full elect. Who has that good spiritual credit with the Lord. Spiritual credit. Who knows how to pay the Lord back. Right? For the blessings and the mercy that he gives us, man. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he gives us. All these gifts, the gifts of faith. Who knows how to pay the Lord back. They're going to be saved out of it, man. So, low on this was edifying. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.